couple days away from the playoffs, but before we get to that, just want to know how important it is at this time of the season after all the work you've put in to have a little break, even just a weekend off to mentally get reset before it's all all hands on deck for this playoff game. <coughs> yeah, uh, it's uh, good to get the legs back, the mind back, uh, get away from the game a little bit. Uh, but this locker room is ready, ready to go, and, and um, can't wait for the game on, on Saturday. So uh, it's good to get back out there, get another off day tomorrow, and, uh, yeah, we're excited. And, I mean, it's easy to just look at the goals conceded to see how far the team has come from the course of the season. But when you look at where you guys were at back in March to where you are today, what makes you in a better spot heading into the playoffs? Uh, just the consistency overall, um, keeping 11 guys on the field. Um, and just confidence back there. I think everybody's buying in on, on, on how we're playing and uh, the commitment it needs um, all around the park. And uh, it, it shows, like you said, with the, with the goals against. And you said it right after the Houston game in talking to the stadium that we'd be back, that you'd have another game at home. How much does it mean to you to get to come out of that tunnel again, put on the yeah, gloves? It's, another awesome. Game? it's awesome to get a, another home game. Um, have to handle business, uh, you know, Saturday and maybe another one after that. But uh, to be in front of our fans and, and where we're most comfortable uh, playing, uh, it, it's huge for us. And um, to get, the, the, like I said, the support from the fans and our family and our friends um, in, in a field that, that we're accustomed to. And, and uh, yeah, we worked all, all year long uh, to get to this point and to, to host this game, and, and it worked out. What did you learn in the first couple of games with Portland that you're going to play this third matchup? Yeah, they, they had our number the, the last uh, two games. Uh, I think the last game away, uh, we gave them a little bit of scare. Um, but, but I thought all, overall we played well, and we didn't put our chances away. Um, so this game, um, the guys are ready for. Uh, I think in any sports, it's tough to beat a team three times in a, in a year. And, and so um, I think they know that. Uh, they're going to be ready. It's playoff. It's a new season. Um, and just, just uh, we're all looking forward to it. For this group specifically, does having the playoff experience last year have for this year? Yeah, it's 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 big. Um, the confidence, um, just being able to go out there and know what it's going to be like, uh, the importance of a game. Um, yeah, I think a lot of players have been there and, and um, know what it takes to, to move on, and, and we did it last year, uh, and we're looking forward to doing it this year. Is, is there a mentality shift or a difference with having more of a do-or-die type playoff structure with the one-offs and the every game's an elimination game kind of thing? I, I think the end of the year was uh, preparation for uh, this situation. Every game meant something. Uh, the points, the value um, of every game. And, and uh, you know, I think the last four or five games, we, we put ourselves in these positions and knew, know that um, – it's do or die now, and these are the games that, that mean the most, and um, I think we're, we're clicking at the right time, and saying that, these are the, you know, this week, it's been it's been the best trainings, uh, you know, all year for me, and, and uh, the teams look great, and um, yeah, we're, we're, we're really excited about Saturday. All things considered, I mean, you guys are kind of a quiet three seed, do you feel like you have a spot to the cup through that three seed? Um, <laughs> um yeah, we, we like flying underneath the radar, you know, and, and I've been on uh, teams before where uh, you're not the highlight team, but, you know, we handle our business under, undercover, and um, there's there's no reason why we can't uh, make the MLS Cup, and, and, and that's the attitude we have to go have to have going into the, this first game and, and take it one game at a con t uh, time, and, yeah, uh, the goal is to, to make it there, and, and there's no reason we can't. Portland for, for parts of the season has been a team that likes to kind of hit, hit, hit their opponents on the counter. Mm -hmm. and you guys yep. Also how do you kind of go into a game where parts of your styles are so similar? Uh, we just, for, for me, it's, it's organizing defense, being balanced back there, uh, knowing their strength, which is, is counterattacks, and, the, and their special players on their team. Um, but again, we, we know that. We've been watching film. Um, we know what they're good at, and, and we just got to make sure that we're balanced, organized, and, and prepared for any of those counterattacks. Speaking of some of their special players, sometimes in the playoffs between two teams, it comes down to who has the, the more special players sometimes. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Portland has has a guy like Valeri. Right. Um, when you when you're coming into a team of, into a game like this, how do you kind of, I guess, correct for that? And, and well, for us, it's not just that one player. It's 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 our team that's got us to this point. It, it's the hard work that everybody's putting in. Um, uh, like you said, Valeri is a very special uh, player for them, and he's definitely circled on, um, you know, on the board. But uh, it doesn't take away what we need to we need to do. Um, our tactical. Um, decisions on the field and, and, and how we're going to play against them. 
Um, so for us is, yeah, recognize what their strengths are, like you said, those players, uh, but do what we've done be uh, best this year and, and how we've been clicking at the end of the year and, and uh, just be balanced, like I said, and, and, and organize and, and um, you know, let Albert do his thing. Let, uh, you know, Dami go up there and, and do his thing. And um, for me, it's, it's more so uh, keeping, keeping it sound at the back, organize and balance. So is this the best you've been as a group defensively since going to the Cup Final in 2013 and moving back to that 20-goal season? How does, does yeah, it feels good out there. You know, I think the more games you feel, uh, you play, uh, the, the more video you watch and, and uh, correct um, the things that have been wrong uh, in the beginning of the season. Like you said, it, it just uh, there's a confidence amongst the group that um, I think everybody else sees and, and, and feels. And, um, I think, like Freddie said, we, we want to be tough uh, to play against. And, and these last couple of months have, have really felt like uh, opponents have had a, a really tough time with us. And it's a credit to the guys in front of me that uh, all the work that they've been putting on. What are you guys still trying to kind of tweak in your game heading into Saturday? Tweak? Yeah. If anything. No. I mean, I mean we're, we're focused on ourselves. Uh, we, we're going to go through a game plan that Freddie's going to put, uh, you know, put us in and, and – um, no tweaking. I mean, if we could win by two goals, that'd be great. But <laughs> you know, you just go out there and, and, and try to win and, and um, be ready for for the opponent and, and focus on ourselves.